Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So we are starting a new series where we use Compose to create our UI. At the beginning, we will start with the basic, like how to use Compose, what are the dependencies we required. We will do a comparison between view-based and a Compose-based UI. So first we use a default template. Just click on new project. Click on empty Compose activity. Let's say Compose. Wait for project to sync. Now we can just see like what are the dependencies which are added to support Compose. So first dependency is Compose UI. So we can see what's are the code available for Compose UI. So just click on external libraries. So from here, you can see the uh, Compose UI. Okay. So Compose UI contains these classes. So UI package contains basic components like which are required to create a UI in Compose. Now next one is UI graphics. Let's say we are using some themes colors, fonts, and other parts. You can just verify like graphics. Okay, so graphics, you can see we have vectors, painter, painter, color space, and other things. Next one is UI tooling preview. So whenever we write some piece of a code, at the same time, we want to see like how it looks on a device. So there are two approach. Either we can just run the app on the emulator or device, but it will take some time to create a build and then install a build on the emulator. So we have a preview approach where we just add a preview annotation and we can see the whatever code we have write, how it look like on a device. So for that, we need a preview dependency. Now next one is material three. So as we already know, the Android comes with a material design guidelines. So there are two libraries. First one is material two. And second one is material three. So in the material three, it follow the latest guidelines. So either you can use material two or material three. So there may be some component which are still in the experimental phase. So this is the basic about what are the default dependencies added. Uh, next thing which is important to understand. Compose is dependent on Kotlin version and Kotlin version is something dependent on the studios version. Okay, so if you see here, we are using a Compose version of 1.5.1. Okay, then next thing is you need to turn build feature Compose is equal to true. So you can check compatibility 1.5.1 is compatible with Kotlin version 1.9.0. So similar way, the BOM version, you can also verify it. So to check the BOM version, latest BOM version is this one. There are other dependencies also, like uh, if you want to add a live data support and view model support with Compose, that we will add in later demos. So this is just a beginning project where we use a default template uh, to create and compose activity. Okay. So now we can compare the code with the view base approach and the compose approach. Okay. So in the view base approach, we create an activity and we create a corresponding layout. So if you see here, there is no layout directory because in Compose, we create everything with the Kotlin code. Okay, this is the first difference. Second difference is we use set content view and pass a layout ID, which will be inflated with this activity. Okay, but now we don't have a layout. So we need to use set content. Now, second thing is once we create an activity, then there will be a theme which will be applied to this activity. Okay. So for that part, we go to our manifest and we can go to our activity. And in this activity, you can see it is using a compose application theme. Okay. Uh, this theme uh, extend to the material no X and bar theme. So this is a default theme which is applied to our activity. As we are working on Compose, so we need to provide a theme from an Kotlin code. Okay, so how we can override this theme? So 
in the activity you can see there is a compose application theme so this theme is created with the kotlin code where you can see there are some parameters which it required so first parameter is did system have a dark theme or a light theme second parameter is uh, did system using any dynamic colors and third parameter is a content which is a compose block okay so first thing you can see we are using a material theme class so which required three parameters like color scheme typography and content so first we are creating a color scheme so first we are checking here if the system is using dynamic color and android version is greater than or equal to 31 okay so here if the if it is a dark theme then we are using a dynamic dark color scheme otherwise a dynamic light color scheme so if dynamic color is not applied then on the basis of dark theme or light theme we are passing a corresponding scheme so these schemes are also manually created so if you see here we have defined a scheme and with primary secondary and tertiary color these are same which we follow for our app compact activities themes or material theme we can even provide other attribute also like background color on primary on secondary and other things so we have provided a color scheme similar way if you see here we are providing a status bar color as well now second parameter is typography let's say we want to define a font for the text styling so you can see we are defining a font family a font size line height similar way you can define title large and label label and other typographies as well and if you notice the color scheme we are passing a colors so color is also defined from a kotlin class so if you see here this is a color class and the colors are represented in the hex so in kotlin code hex start with 0x and this is remaining 8 value hex figures so you can change the values from this picker as well you can change the value from here as well corresponding hex filter will be applied if you don't want to use a theme from the manifest you can even remove this theme attribute from your activity so first thing we have covered like setting the layout setting the theme now next thing is whenever we create a ui we have a parent layout or we be called as a view group okay currently we are just displaying a surface surface is just a, a background or an empty container okay now in this empty container we are passing a compose function so whenever you need to create a ui in a compose you need to create a compose function so to create a compose function you just need to add a composable annotation okay and there are some point the composable function can be called only from the compose function now in the greeting function we are defining a text to display a text in the screen similar way you can see in the left hand side we are writing a code and in the right hand side we can see the preview of related code let's say currently it displays hello name and name is passed from here android so we can just check in the emulator okay now you can see we are we're displaying the hello android let's say you don't want to rebuild the application whenever you do some changes okay so what you can do you can just come to the preview block and change the content from here okay just let's say i say hello compose so if you see here i have just changed the content from the preview block and my preview content is changed you don't need to rebuild the project and run on the emulator we can even refresh the content on the emulator without installing a new build so there are some scenarios when we are not changing the resource or we are not doing any changes in the manifest which don't require an activity to restart let's say currently we are displaying hello android 
and I change it to compose. Then it says out of date and a refresh icon is displayed on the emitter side. Just click on this refresh icon. So you can see content is refreshed without installing a new build. So that much for this video. In the next video, we will learn a view based Android component and compose this Android components. Thank you and stay tuned for the further updates.